Okay. So it should be recording now. All right. Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is Bunny Grail. We're still playing Detroit. I'm picking up right where I left off. Uh, so we're sitting here in the store booting up. Hi, little girl. You're kind of blurry at the moment. You want to make out? No? Okay. Let me initialize it. Hi. Yeah, you on, take your little demon. Go out that way. All right. So we're in the store. That chick looks like she's from Star Trek, don't she? Look like Star Trek uniform. We're at an Android store. Buying Androids. Sold by Androids. Young Sulu standing over here. With Daniel in the background. Painting, plumbing, gardening. We'll take it. <laughs> An excellent choice. Where's she going at you? <laughs> yes, Kyrie. <laughs> Why are you growling at me? What? I don't like this guy. Okay. <laughs> How can I help? It's crazy to think that, like, in the future, this is probably, like, a real-life thing. Like, buying robots, right? A car. A car. Why do I already not trust this dude? Like, he seems sketchy as hell. Why are you growling at me? What? Don't bark at me. AX400, register your name. Cara. Yeah, so if I'm not mistaken, she's the one that was shown at one of the tech demos. Which I didn't actually watch, I just know because I watched Jack Septic Eye's first video of this. So I've seen I've seen some of this stuff. It sure is a pretty game though. Incredibly beautiful. It is incredibly beautiful. Jesse Williams is in it. Oh, I think he plays um one of the androids. There's so much to look at, like through this whole sequence of her going to this dude's house. There's so much to look at. I think she wants to play. Is that what she wants? Well, you were playing with her two seconds before you started the game. I know, but I was taking a hiatus while I made sure it uploaded right. What? What? You wanna fight? You wanna fight? No? Okay. Well, now she's moping over there. <laughs> she's gonna have to deal. I'm, I'm working. <laughs> <laughs> At least we still have common things like tower, tower paints and stuff like that. Well, I mean, you can't exactly get rid of, like, all construction stuff. You have to have, you know, tower cranes and all the other things. There's some segregation going on here, though, because the androids have their own bus stops and they seem to have their own things so there's a bit of a like an underlying racism tone uh, oh androids took my jobs and there's a little bit of a low-key racism thing happening which is kind of interesting to think about uh, you have you have androids so like this would be this raises some questions what will life be like once we have these kind of robotics and this kind of equipment and we're well aware that we are working towards this as we are right now. We absolutely are, yeah. We are on the way to this future. Like, now. This is not that far off. This game's set, what, 2038? Something like that, it said? Exactly. And that's probably not that far away. I don't know that we'll be this advanced by then, but... At some point, this is kind of what we're building towards. Yes, yes. Yes, I think that's enough. Okay. Here. Uh, Let's read this. We got, a, we got a tech addict. Secrets of androids. How Cyberlife designs its androids to coexist with humans. VR MMORPG it was talking about too. Designing androids that are easily accepted by humans was a huge challenge Cyberlife had overcome. Jason Graff, director of the humanization department of Cyberlife, unveiled some of his designs and secrets in our recent interview. The first androids were perfect. They had perfect faces, perfect expressions, and we soon realized that there was something disturbing about them. Uh, okay, so what it's talking about is you're going into, like, the Uncanny Valley. 
So that's when a thing is so close to human, but just off enough, and humans aren't perfect. So if you make them perfect, you enter the uncanny valley and they become kind of eerie. It, it gets to be creepy. So they gave a mixed question. Yeah, so they humanize them by making them imperfect, which is wild. I am not allowed to go that way. <laughs> <laughs> so I think one of the things Jack was talking about when I was watching him, he was actually talking about how when you're an android, this kind of a invisible wall, don't go this way in a game, like a lot of games struggle with that. They have to make some sort of terrain, something, you know, the invisible wall that you run into saying, oh, you can't go this direction. But in this game, it makes sense for the androids to have a very clear go to Bellini's paint shop and there's a I mean there's a there's a wall there because you're an android so this is what you're actually going to see this is part of his UI that so in his eyes this is real that's there and his programming is not telling him to go there so you're prevented from doing so which is kind of neat that bitch pick up your cup that was rude as shit where you think you're going hey hey Hey, I'm talking to you. Lady, go pick up your cup. We're not your slaves. Sorry about that, buddy. So I'll, I'll get you next time. I'll sweep for you next time. And right, I'll see you later. <laughs> Sale. I like how we even know... Digit groceries. Um, it's a robot and it doesn't necessarily have to avoid people you can just walk through it but he does it anyway well i think that that's part of probably his programming is that he can't just you know slam into people i think he has to so people don't have to be courteous to robots but the robots kind of have to maintain a sort of courtesy to other people identification verified that's pretty neat he had a pretty visible robot hand there. That will be Please confirm payment. Payment confirmed. Wow, that's super cool. So that was like a a digital transaction, but standing right in front of each other. So they like how we would pay with a credit card on Amazon. We can store it and upload, you know, the payment and everything. But to be standing there and just have it immediately, you know, digital like that is crazy. So I got the obnoxious, whatever that camera is, cinematic view. Modular jacket. Wearable media player, biosensors. Okay. Very digital age. Acoustic guitar. It's pretty cool. I'm stuck on things. I'm stuck on things. All right, where am I supposed to go, actually? Oh, okay. I'm gonna go this way. Excuse me. Excuse me. Thirty-five percent unemployment. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Uh, tin cans. Look at this little okay. motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Well, I don't think I'm allowed to. can't really do much about it because I'm an android. So I don't think I'd be allowed to fight back.
You can take your job next. Somebody like him. Okay. All right then. Let's go. Come on. So wait for the bus. So I mean that's kind of like the same thing that happened when automation and mass production first came around, right? It, all that mass production stole a lot of people's jobs, and then it, like we kind of had the same outrage then. I think you're always gonna have that same type of outrage. Oh yeah, any sort of any like advancement of. in technology or in the industry. Exactly. I mean, you'll have the amount of jobs to build them the first time around because, ta-da! It's new work, new tech, new yeah. industry. But the second it's completed, it goes spiraling down from there. Well, yeah, because now you can employ these androids to build themselves. Exactly. Basically, I mean, they're now doing the work that you were doing. And that was also the segregation that it showed when all the androids were standing in the back of the bus like that. Is there another option other than taking the bus? I mean, what else could have happened here? Oh, there's a, oh, there's a bunch of shit that I apparently missed. Read Secret of Androids. Oh, so I could have read the other magazine thing. Public opinion. Skeptical. Okay. So I gotta be more careful about missing things. I'm missing a lot of shit here. I gotta be a little more thorough. I'm kind of blazing through this stuff. Mm -hmm. So that was, uh, that was Marcus. Uh, this would be Kara. Man, this guy, look at this house. What a magnificent mansion you live in, sir. Your house is beautiful. Is that for sale? What? The other house? Mm. Might be. Right, let's get out. Kara. Alright, see ya. See you later, Todd. <laughs> Immediately leave. Can I... Can I get, get back in the car? Can I take the car? Alright. A better place to live. North Cork Town. So that's all the... So they're building a bridge, because you can see the bridge off in the distance there. Can I... There we go. That's cool. It's more... Not necessarily a bridge. Maybe it's like a railway track. Yeah, it might be like a monorail track, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm coming, I'm coming. Keep your pants on. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You didn't clean up after the yourself? Housework, the washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! 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 The brat. Oh, yeah, I knew I didn't like him. He just... Homework, something don't seem right about this dude. Got it? Got it. Got it. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Okay. Okay, so I can take a look at all the things. Urgent tasks, trash, optional tasks. So I could do like the bare minimum and just say fuck them. That's interesting. Yeah, let's grab the dishes. Make your house nice and spick and span. Phone's ringing, Todd. Yeah, yeah. Can I? Thank you. Not working. Missing component. Whoa! She can just order things? <laughs> what if I don't want her to order that shit? Somebody has to pay for that. I assume the android's not paying for it. Yeah, wash some dishes. I, oh. Okay, I got some motion controls happening. Yeah, 
God, that feels weird to do. It's like you're actually washing the dishes. Yeah, I have to do the little um, scrubby thing on the touchpad. It's very strange. TV on. So it's all voice command. So he just told the TV to turn on. Hi, Alice. Ow, why are you biting me? I gotta wash dishes, puppy. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna wash them dishes. It's a cute little trap. Bring me a cold beer. Right Bitch, get your fat ass up and get it yourself. What do I look like? Your servant? I guess the answer is yes, I look like the servant. I wonder if Kara was the mother. That's a magnificent question. Like, where'd the name Kara come from? Yeah. There's a little girl named her. I wonder if it was the mom. Let's watch the game. He's actually watching the game. What are you looking at? I'm watching the TV, you dick. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! Jesus. I'll get back to work. Calm down, sir. Christ almighty. Oh, yeah. Okay, turn that on. Even in the future, they have... The Roombas? Roombas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the little Roomba. That's a cool Roomba, though. Right, let's clean all this shit off. Alice! You better stop that right now! What's she doing? She's playing! What's wrong with you? Why is she always pushing me? No one's doing shit to you. <laughs> um, where do I? Alright, obviously the table. Oh, you got trash up there. Let's grab all this shit. Really? You couldn't throw away a single thing in the two weeks I was gone. Like, what the fuck did you do the whole time? I don't know why I'm asking. Obviously, you did exactly that. Did what you're doing right now. Thank you. There were plates up there. She just tossed the plates. I think there were paper plates. Oh, uh, was that what it was? Yeah. Just paper plates instead of real plates? I thought she'd just grab like a bunch of ceramic plates and fuck these plates. <laughs> <laughs> Toss them in the garbage. I did it. Right, take out the trash. Look at that strong stance. Uh, overdrawn account notice, application rejected. Invoice for much, so he's he owes some monies. Big surprise. I mean, look at this place. Of course, he owes some monies. You know, pizza for dinner every night gets expensive. No wonder he's broke as shit. Is there anything else I can do outside, or is that it? Oh, I, oh, I failed to open the door. <laughs> What? Oh, there's something you can see there. Yeah, she's crawling on the table. Hi, Alice. Well, I like your little fox. Poor Alice. I'm playing with your little foxy. Can I? Can I talk to you? I can read the All Sports magazine. Android power should it be outlawed? So it's talking about having androids in sports. It's third game of the season, Android pitcher X67 threw a pitch that broke the 120 mile per hour mark. Of course he fucking did, he's an android. The human batsman wasn't able to swing until after the ball had already reached the catcher's glove. Androids were introduced as a one per team innovation, but they've come to dominate team strategy. Every draft sees the major professional baseball teams breaking their own transfer records to purchase these latest android models, but is the game suffering? Uh, Jenny Waterfield, Waterfield had a fanzine home run. Says fans are becoming disenchanted. The magic of a sport is seeing the limits of human potential. A machine breaking these kinds of records just isn't exciting or even surprising. Well, isn't that the same conversation we were having when steroids first showed up? I mean, if you want the best game, you get the biggest, strongest blokes. I mean, and this is connecting dots. Politicians and focus are American senators really corrupt. Uh, I can answer that, yes. Yes, they are. <laughs> China earthquake tills t kills 10,000. 
Transport innovation that's shaken up California. The new subtube completed its first journey today from Manhattan to downtown LA in under two hours, less than half the five hour flight time. Top speed of 1,800 miles per hour was made possible because the tube travels through a depressurized chamber, providing a near frictionless environment for its magnetized motors. Do I care about it? I don't give no, a shit. Like it's like. I mean, it's just a bullet train now. Yeah, it's, so that's the futuristic bullet train. You're still playing with the fox. But I mean, do I care? Hey, it's a new curved TV. <laughs> yeah, he's got a curved TV. What the fuck is coming out of your face? Right, let's head up the garden. Okay, we got some laundries. Let's do it. I wonder how long these clothes have been out here. I think they need rewashed at this point. Mm -hmm. Just grab this and this and those and these. Hi, Alice. Rewash laundry, yeah. It's been out here for a little bit. Let's talk to Alice. She looks very sad. Okay. You like playing out here? Well, it's probably quieter. You look bored. Would you like to play a game? No game? Alright, okay. We'll be friends eventually, Alice. Well, don't worry. Is there anything else out here that I can do? Report to Todd. Fuck you, Todd. You're a piece of shit. Rewash the laundry. Yeah, let's go rewash the laundry. Oop. Fuck that up. I keep trying to change the camera and then I'm close enough to fuck with something and I end up messing something up. Boss. Grab the laundry stuff. Oh, what is that? Was that what Todd was smoking? Red ice. Acetone, lithium. That sounds like it would kill you. Jesus. You're making me nervous, buddy. You stay the fuck out of my business. Why'd you put it in the laundry then? You don't want me to mess with it. What a terrible hiding place. These uh the lights on their head is a pretty cool indicator. Oh, they've got danger meters on their head. As broke as you are, you have a pretty nice uh, washing machine. Can't do anything else? Is that it? I think all I have left is to report to bitch ass Todd. Let's do him again. Finish first floor. Got the book. Out of the way for fuck's sake! I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. Tidy. Oh, okay. That's tidy. What am I tidying? Books. She's got a bunch of books on the floor? I doubt this dude reads. What's he got books for? Probably the wife's book book or the kids. Mm. Yeah, they're like they're not books for him. Oh, there's... Wait, I can go talk to Alice again before I do that. Is there other stuff on here? Does it sound um, like he's jerking off on the couch? It does sound like he's jerking it over there. I would love for you to stop making that noise, buddy. Oh, she's playing a game on her tablet. She's doing something on her tablet. No, leave the thing alone. Hi, Alice. Hi. What are you, what are you doing? I, I guess I'm just looking. What happens if I walk in front of a TV again, do you think? I think he loses his fucking mind. Oh, I just I straight can't do it. Here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering me. Jesus. You told me to tell you. 
Hot Todd's a piece of shit. Mm -hmm. oh, those are the, uh... That's his IO people money set up. Man, your house sucks, Todd. I'm not sure how much I want to tidy his room. Like, he's going to bitch at me for finding something. That's an upgraded model. That was the 500. So every time they realize they're going to get replaced, do they flip out? I don't know why she would care about staying here anyway. Ventilate. <laughs> yeah, let me ventilate your room of all the farts you've been having. So I can control the TV with my head. Okay. God, the animation's so good in this, it almost looks real. This straight up is real. Hockey game is actually a real thing. garbage. You have a lot of empty bottles, Todd. Okay. Clean up all this nonsense. Make the bed all nice and neat. That was the fastest I've ever seen someone make the bed. Alright, what else I got in here? There's some stuff I can look at. Oh, I got a guitar. Can I play the guitar? Nope, I can put it away though. Sure. And another book I can read. More sports. Android quarterback. Okay. Take. Antidepressants. Mm. And of course it's got a gun. Unlock the dialogue or action. Rude as hell. So that's I assume this is the bathroom. Uh, you're so disgusting I have to immediately go clean up after you and your stank ass. Aw, uh, look at pretty old me. That's all I have to do in here? Just arrange the bat the things? Okay. Really? You fuckers couldn't have done that. Mop floor. Okay. It's one of these again. Mop 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 mop. Uh there you go. It's all spick and span. Shit, I gotta mop my own floor. <laughs> oh, sorry. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? I'll be quick. I promise. I'm gonna immediately look at your shit, though. Ah. Of course. Cute. She probably feels like she's in the rabbit hole right now. Right, let's make your bed. Mm. 
Ventilate your room. Why is this a thing they have to do? Ventilate every room? Okay. Apparently seeing the ledge was important somehow. I later escape. Take? What's this? It's locked. Oh, that's her keepsake box. Okay. We're dying here. I wanna. Hi, Alice. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Yeah, Maybe let's be friendly. We'll be friends again. Poor Alice. Your father said you chose my name. It's a very pretty name. Kara. It's nice. How did you choose it? What about your mother? Will she be home soon? Oh, oh no. I'm sorry. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like I shouldn't to go, ask about her mom. your favorite foods. Oh, I'm back to trust her. Really help me. Okay. Is that the key? Yeah, that's the key. Maybe. Alright, let's see what's in this box. Probably nothing good. Oh, it's her turn Yeah. Clover. Okay. That looks like the family. Drawings. Is that. Does she have a blood mark on her head? Mm -hmm. She's been. He's been mm -hmm. hitting Alice. Uh, that's him beating up Kara. Oh god. Must have really beat the crap out of her. Arms off and everything. So she just made a mental note of that. Crazy. I knew I didn't like Todd. He sort of seems like a piece of shit. I guess, what am I done up here? Is that it? Check again. Ask Todd for new instructions. Yeah, that seems to be it. I'll be able to talk to Todd. Can I kick him in the taint? Is that an option? What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. I'm playing. I know what you're thinking. Do you? you think your dad's a low life. Huh? Fucking loser. What a Can't weird job. situation to put your daughter in. Don't you think I tried to make things work? No, not really. But whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up! I think you smoking I whatever that red ice shit is. Smoking it up. Me. Fucking it up. You hate me, don't you? Say it! Say it. You hate me! God almighty. God. What am I doing? So I think uh, Kara is probably going to break programming and protect this little girl. I think is probably what's coming. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. Probably why she got into an accident the first time. Yeah, they yeah, probably came to the little girl's rescue, and uh, Todd didn't like it. Oh, there we go. Holy crap! I found. Oh damn. Everything. Yeah, I found everything. Oh, okay. Well, maybe a more thorough worked. Alice trusted public skeptical. I don't think the public really knows her. Yeah, wow. I literally got everything. That's pretty cool. All right. Well, I'm going to leave this video here, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ooh, can I? Nope.